Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to apply false eyelashes and if you want to know how to do that, just keep on watching. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the Classy Lashes UK Mink Lashes. I think that if you know how to do mink lashes, you know how to apply any lashes because mink ones are a bit harder because of the thick band and you need to like control them better. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to cut them properly how to shape them properly and how to apply them properly and um, these are uncut so I need to shape them for my eyes because they're just way too long and sometimes you know like you get like too much that come off the edge so I'm just going to be showing you all that and these are the Vera lashes these were kindly sent to me by Classy Lashes UK and I've been kind of loving them lately because they're just so amazing and very very affordable mink lashes so um, I do have a coupon code for you guys and that's uh, Nushka10 and you get 10% off so if you guys are interested in getting these um, the link will be in the info box these are what the lashes look like they're super pretty so I'm first going to take one. So first what you want to kind of do is bend them so that they kind of become rounded because when they're in the box and when you pull them out they kind of straighten out and they don't fit on the eye properly so I like to just blend, bend them a bit so they become more rounded and I know how like to shape it better on my eye. I'm then going to take the lash with no glue just by itself and I'm going to apply the lash on my lid but placing it where I would usually place it if I were gluing it on. Then I just kind of look from underneath where it's stopping and I don't know how to, if you guys can see but I'm going to try and zoom in for you guys but basically I can see that if I really glue it on properly I don't really bring the lash all the way to the inner corner by the way I kind of leave like a third of the lid bare the edge is like right like touching away too much of the outer bit I don't know how to explain it properly but you will see that there's too much so what I take is I kind of take like a little bit from here just a bit so I would kind of cut it like right there in that gap so it fits perfectly so I'm basically going to cut right there you just need to cl clip it off and it's not exactly the right length but it, it's like an overall good length for your eye and it should work really well anyways you don't have to be so precise with this you just have to cut off a bit so it fits your eye correctly i make sure that the end is not pointy at all as well i'm also cutting the inner corner a bit as well so now i'm going to check again if the, the eyelash is better now i just do this roughly but this one seems to fit much better you'll see it instantly there's no bits that are coming out and it just fits nicely on the eye. So you want to make sure there's a nice even layer of glue on the lash band and I'm using the Eyelow Lash Glue. It comes in a little tube and the reason why I like this is because it came with the eyelashes but it comes not in a tube, it comes in like a dippy thing and you have so much more control over it rather than having a tube because before I had the tube and it would just square all out so I really like this one and it it stays on pretty well and I let it become tacky for like a minute now I use tweezers to apply my eyelashes just make sure that they're nice and dry like it becomes a bit like you can see the glue is drying up a little bit I'm then going to take the lash and take it from the center with a pair of with a pair of tweezers gosh I can't speak and I'm just gonna place that right in the center of the eye where I know the center of the lash will be so that's two in so I need to take it back Okay, that's much better. Then you just want to push it all in. I feel like I have much more control with the tweezers, by the way. By the way, I did forget to curl my eyelashes, so make sure that you do that before so that your eyelashes curl with the lashes themselves. Um, because if you're someone that has really straight lashes, it will be like a huge difference. You have to make sure that they curl upwards. And you can also apply mascara. I like to do it afterwards, just like a thin layer. Right now, I'm just making sure that the eyelashes are nicely pressed onto the skin. I just like to press it with my fingers. So normally, it really depends with mink lashes, if you can see the band or not. But with mink lashes, because they have such a thick band you can kind of notice the band that's there 
So um, with this one I can kind of notice it, with, with the other ones that are like Claudia and Adiza, you can't really see it so you can pull off wearing it without liner but with this one I'm going to do it with liner because these ones are less thick so you can kind of see the band more and I think it's just going to hide it better and you don't have to do like a really thick liner but just a really small one so that it just covers the lash band and makes sure that it's nice and black on top and it covers the glue as well. So I'm going to be using the NYC Black Liquid Eyeliner. My eyeliner did become a bit thicker because it was just not working out for me but it still looks good and really that's how you apply eyelashes. If you can apply mink lashes you can apply any lashes. You don't really need them for like you know like red cherry lashes you know those um, synthetic lashes you don't really need um, eyeliner because the lash band is sometimes invisible or it's um, very 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 thin so you can barely see it sometimes with these lashes for example the Claudia ones so these ones I have been wearing this with no liner and it just works really really nice because it acts like eyeliner but these ones compared to these are much more thick and these are thinner so you can kind of see through it and the lash brand shows even more so with these ones you need a bit of eyeliner just to camouflage that lash band and it just looks really really nice it doesn't look too much and these are like nice wispy ones so if you're looking for really pretty wispy eyelashes then these would be the ones that you would want to go for so i'm just going to do the same exact thing on the other eye and i'll be right back just finished applying the second one and i did the exact same thing if you feel like they're too low feel free to push them accordingly like to however you want it to look like you can push them down you can push them up like it just if you push them up they're like more flary if you push them down they're like a bit more you know subtle so yeah i really love this pair it's like my first time trying these and they're super like on more on the natural side compared to the other ones these are mink lashes so they're more like you know more dramatics like nice for an event or a party or if you're just into wearing lashes every day then this is a good one to wear they're super comfortable and you guys know I don't wear lashes often but these ones are so comfortable to wear like I'm just like obsessed this application does apply however to any lashes that you have at home so whether you have red cherry lashes I really love them like my favorite red cherry lashes are called Stevie and with those I don't need to cut them I just apply them straight on and you don't need any eyeliner with that because the lash band is so thin I think that's all I've, I have to say really this is what it looks like I really hope you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any questions ask them down below in the comments I try to answer and reply to all of your comments and again thank you so much for watching and until next time I will see you then bye